So this video is the multiple choice questions for the AP physics exam for the topic of magnetic forces and fields. And it can also be used as practice for the IB and GCSE exams. So for question one, which of the following is R true concerning magnetic forces and fields? One, the magnetic field lines due to a current carrying wire radiate away from the wire. Two, the kinetic energy of a charged particle can be increased by a magnetic force. Three, a charged particle can move through a magnetic field without feeling a magnetic force. So statement one is false. The magnetic field lines due to a current carrying wire encircle the wire in closed loops. Statement two is also false. Since the magnetic force is always perpendicular to the charged particle's velocity vector, it cannot do work on the charged particle and so it cannot change the particle's kinetic energy. But statement three is true because if the charged particle's velocity is parallel or anti-parallel to the magnetic field lines, then the particle will feel no magnetic force because the magnetic force on a charged particle is equal to q v cross b and if the particle is moving parallel or anti-parallel to the magnetic field lines then the angle between v and b is either 0 or 180 degrees and the sine of these two angles is equal to 0 and so a charged particle can move through a magnetic field without feeling a magnetic force in this case and so only 3 is true and so the answer is d so for the second question, the velocity of a particle of charge plus 4 times 10 to the minus 9 coulomb at mass of 2 times 10 to the minus 4 kilograms is perpendicular to a 0.1 tesla magnetic field. If the particle speed is 3 times 10 to the power 4 meter per second, what is the acceleration of this particle due to the magnetic force? So because the velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field, then sine 90 degrees is equal to 1. So the magnitude of F is QVB sine sine 90 equal to QVB and the acceleration is force over mass which is QVB over M so if we substitute we get 4 times 10 to the minus 9 coulomb times 3 to the power 4 meter per second times 0.1 tesla over 2 times 10 to the minus 4 kilograms and this gives an acceleration of 0 0.06 meter per second square and so the answer is C so in question 3 in the figure below what is the direction of the magnetic force fb so the magnetic force is qv cross b and this is a cross vector product so the direction of f is found by the right hand rule so you need to use your right hand and stretch your fingers along v and then rotate them from v to b the thumb direction will be into the page so since v and b lies in the plane of the page f is perpendicular to them into the page but no Note here that Q is not positive, it's negative. And so even though the direction of F from the right hand rule is into the page, because Q is negative, then the direction is out of the page. And so the answer is D. So for question 4 in the figure below, what must be the direction of the particle's velocity? So again, FB, which is the magnetic force, is equal to QV cross B. And the subscript B, you may use it to distinguish the magnetic force from other forces. So we know from this cross vector product that F must be perpendicular to the plane containing V and B. And so the velocity cannot be upward or downward in the plane of the page. So let's see the choices A to the right, B downward in the plane of the page, C upward in the plane of the page, D out of the plane of the page, and E into the plane of the page. So because V cannot be in the plane of the page, this eliminates B and c the velocity vector also cannot be to the right because if v is to the right then it would be anti-parallel to b and f would be zero because the angle between v and b would be 180 degrees and so this eliminates choice a and because q is positive the direction of f will be the same direction of v cross b so in order for v cross b to be downward in the plane of the page like this one then the right hand rule implies that v must be out of the plane of the page and so the answer is D. So for question 5, due to the magnetic force, a positively charged particle executes uniform circular motion within a uniform magnetic field B. If the charge is Q and the radius of its path is R, 
which of the following expressions gives the magnitude of the particle's linear momentum? So the magnetic force provides the centripetal force on the charged particle. So QB is equal to MV over R or MV is equal to QBR. This is the linear momentum of the particle. So P is equal to QBR. And so the answer is A. So for question 6, a straight wire of length 2 meters carries a 10 amperes current. How strong is the magnetic field at a distance of 2 centimeters from the wire? So the strength of the magnetic field at a distance r from a straight wire carrying a current i is equal to mu naught over 2 pi i over r. And this is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla times meter over amperes times 10 amperes over 2 pi times 0 0.2 meters. So we converted the distance from centimeters two meters and the answer is one times ten to the minus four tesla and so the answer is d so for question seven two long straight wires are hanging parallel to each other and are one centimeters apart the current in wire one is five amperes and the current in wire two is ten amperes in the same direction so which of the following best describes the magnetic force per unit length felt by the wires so a the force per unit length on wire one is twice the force per unit length on wire two and b the force per unit length on wire two is twice the force per unit length on wire one and choices c d and and E is that the force per unit length on wire 1 is a certain value away from wire 2. So by Newton's third law, neither choice A nor B can be correct. Also, if two parallel wires carry current in the same direction, then the magnetic force between them is attractive, which eliminates choices C and E. And so the answer is D. So the strength of the magnetic field at a distance R from a long straight wire carrying a current I, so let's say at a distance R from wire 1, is given by this equation and the magnetic force on a wire of length l carrying a current i and placed in a magnetic field b is given by this equation i l cross b so the force on wire 2 due to the magnetic field of wire 1 so f on wire 2 is equal to i2 l b1 so i2 l mu naught over 2 pi i1 over r so the force per unit length is f2 over l and it's equal to mu naught over 2 pi i1 i2 over r so if we substitute 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 newton per ampere square times 5 amperes times 10 amperes over 2 pi times 0 0.01 meters and this is the distance between the two wires which is 1 centimeter and converted to meters and this gives this value which is choice d so in question 8 in the figure below what is the magnetic field at the point p which is midway between the two wires so the strength of the magnetic field at a distance r from a long straight wire carrying a current i is given by this equation and so the strength of the magnetic field at a point p midway between the two wires is given by this equation where we substitute d over 2 for r and using the right hand rule the direction of the magnetic field at point p due to the top wire is into the plane of the page and the direction of the magnetic field at P due to the bottom wire is out of the plane of the page. And since the two magnetic field vectors at P have the same magnitude and opposite directions, then the net magnetic field at point P is equal to zero. And the answer is E. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.